Skyrim Community Guides. You've requested. I've complied. All right. Should I clean the DLC? Should I clean mods? How do I do so? Has anything changed? Those are the questions. This is the answer. Cleaning DLC may not have noticeable impact upon your game. However, fixing the deleted references does avoid situational crashes, and removing identical to master records undoes incidental overrides that wipe out intended vanilla changes. In other words, while not always noticeable, you spend some time doing this process with hopes to improve your personal playthrough without any risk of a downside. Cleaning DLC creates a better foundation to add mods on top of. If you are concerned or curious about anything to do with XEdit, the official cleaning documentation is provided. Generally, unless you have a good understanding of how mods are created, you want to leave cleaning up to the author. If mods are marked as dirty, I suggest to ask the author if it's intentional, and if not, to see if they can update it for everyone. With that said, Authors come and go and have lives beyond modding. If you decide to clean a mod on your own, you can. Deleted references are almost always a bad thing and should be undeleted, and identical to master records almost never cause issues when removed. These are the two main things that X-Edit Cleaning does. 99% of the time, cleaning a mod that is said to be dirty is okay to do so. Just don't get in the habit of doing things just because. Such and such guide told me this mod was dirty. Such and such application told me that there was less records to be removed than XEdit actually did. Whether you are using loot, a general resource, or following someone's guide, you have to keep in mind that XEdit is always improving. Almost everything, including loot, uses XEdit to get its information. When there are discrepancies, generally, those resources are what need to be corrected, not XEdit. Regarding loot, messages and record counts may correlate between the two for a time, but as XEdit improves, it removes additional records. The notes that you receive from loot exist because someone has run XEdit in the past, possibly on an outdated version, and then they copy and pasted the results to the loot master list. Loot does not scan files, it provides user entered information. When it comes to cleaning, XEdit knows what it's doing. The Loot Master List just needs to be updated. If you'd like to contribute to Loot, you can report your results directly to those maintaining it, which would help get the information tested and the messages out to other users more quickly. When XEdit is updated, it is likely to be able to detect and remove additional dirty edits and mods than previously. If you clean the mod with XEdit 3.0, cleaning that same mod with XEdit 4.0 may remove additional records. This includes mods cleaned by their authors who used older versions of XEdit in months and years past. Example, XEdit 4.0 can now remove ITMs regarding nav meshes. Previous versions couldn't. This may resolve NPCs not being able to cross certain cell boundaries. Change is nothing to lose your mind about. XEdit was not previously broken. Rather, it improved. Old mods were not cleaned improperly. They can just now be cleaned better. Tell mod authors what you have discovered, as newer versions of XEdit may make their mods more stable, but let them continue to enjoy creating for us without harassing them. If they don't have the time to go back through everything that they've ever created, every time XEdit or another app updates, do it yourself or just leave it alone. You cannot clean multiple master files at the same time. The records you are trying to clean are the records that override changes to vanilla values. It has always been explained that you can't load additional modules. Doing so can turn an identical to master record into an identical to master but conflict winner record, which the latter will not be clean from the module. And those are exactly the records that you want to clean. So cleaning while having additional modules loaded makes the entire process pointless and a waste of time. As of late 2018, an automated process was created by the developer of XEdit to take all of the guesswork out of cleaning. No module ever needs to be cleaned more than once now. Consider guides and resources, gamer poets or elsewhere, prior to 2019 as outdated. Before cleaning, back up the official plugins. 
If you're cleaning a mod, you may want to back those up too. This will avoid having to re-download or re-verify anything in the future other than when the game or mod is updated. Backup is most important to those concerned about bandwidth. While this video is directed at Skyrim Special Edition, this process is the same for all compatible games. Navigate to the Game folder. Open Data. Highlight and copy the DLC. Create a new folder anywhere that you like and paste the original files inside for safekeeping. That's it. Keep this backup folder for as long as you keep the game. Open the Modify Executables window. Select your XEdit executable. If you have yet to add SSE Edit to MO2, select the ellipsis to the right of the binary. Navigate to the folder that you installed XEdit to. Double click the EXE. Give the executable a title of your choosing. In the Arguments field, add the command dash quick auto clean. If you have another command there already, leave a space and add this one after it. Select Add or Modify, whatever the button shows, and close the window. Select XEdit from the drop down and run it. Double click the first DLC plugin to be cleaned. In SSE's case, it's the Update ESM. Allow a few minutes for the process to complete. When you receive the message, Quick Clean Mode Finished, close XEdit. The plugin is saved automatically. Repeat this process, launching XEdit and selecting DLC until you have done so for all of them. The only thing that you do not need to clean is the main plugin. The process is the same if you choose to clean a mod that you've downloaded. Finally, if you want to keep your game's data folder in its vanilla state and to not worry about game updates or file verification undoing your cleaning, right-click in Mod Organizer's left pane and select Create Empty Mod. Title it something along the lines of DLC Clean. Right-click the new empty mod and open in Explorer. In the second window, open the game's data folder. Drag and drop all of the DLC into the new mod in MO2. Close Explorer. Drag and place the clean DLC at the top of the load order, just beneath, higher in numerical priority than any DLC files that may already be present. Note that when you clean mods, they are edited right in their folder in the left pane. There's no need to copy and paste anything. You can now paste the backups that you made earlier back into the data folder to keep everything vanilla. Still keep the original backups in case you need them in the future. If the game is updated and you wish to re-clean the ESMs, as game updates may change what records the DLC contain, you have to delete the clean mod folder in MO2's left pane and repeat the process from the beginning as if you never did it before. Don't forget to create new backups of the ESMs as well. You don't need to have or use a mod manager to clean your plugins. Navigate to the folder that you installed XEdit to. Right-click and create a shortcut of the executable. Name it whatever you like. Right-click the shortcut and select Properties. In the Shortcut tab, at the end of the Target field, leave a space and enter dash quick auto clean. Apply the changes and select OK. Double-click to launch the shortcut. Double-click the first DLC plugin to be cleaned. In SSE's case, it's the Update ESM. Allow a few minutes for the process to complete. When you receive the message, Quick Clean Mode Finished, close XEdit. The plugin is saved automatically. Repeat this process for the rest of the DLC. The only thing that you do not need to clean is the main module. This process is the same if you choose to clean a mod that you've downloaded. When XEdit receives official updates, as mentioned earlier, it may be able to detect more issues than previously, being able to remove more dirty edits than before. This means that on new playthroughs, you may want to return your plugins to their vanilla state and do the cleaning process again from the beginning, same as if the game itself has been updated. special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill and Trotsky, for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping Gamer Poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.